have always been fascinated with the story of Beauty and the Beast, as has the rest of the world. It's about this wonderful girl who grew up in a very wealthy situation, but over time her father lost everything and lost his business and they became poor. They had to move to a more humble cottage in the country and she was never into fashion or beauty or she was just a humble girl who was very loyal and very loving and faithful and she would rather work as a servant than have her father have to pay somebody to do it so she took on the work herself even though her siblings always made fun of her she was very loyal and she never retorted or answered back she was just a very nice girl and people don't know this actually but this is based on a true story over the years many people have had their ideas of what the beast looks like or um, imagined all the kinds of things but in reality in the 1500s there was a little boy born with a disease called hypertrichosis and what that is is when all the hair follicles on your face and your torso they are overgrown just like the hair on the top of your head but it grows everywhere so they are stricken with this it's called werewolf syndrome and his parents of this little boy gave him to a king the king of France in the 1500s and he grew up in the zoo there and somebody took it upon themselves to educate him and he became a brilliant conversationalist he spoke three different languages and the queen they bribed a servant of the court they bribed his him to have his daughter marry this man with hypertrichosis and she did and they fell in love and had several children so and it is also like a spiritual story that we are under a curse the world is under a curse and it took true love to break that curse the true love of the savior and i think this is a really good lesson to learn and it's a wonderful story so i'm going to leave a link for the real story written in 1750 of beauty and the beast and i hope you enjoy it as much as i do and I hope you enjoyed our little fairy tale Christmas. Thanks for watching!